All right, so right now I'm breaking down Allah. All right, so you need to understand that, you know, Allah is basically just means like all natural laws and things like that. And so if you're a Muslim right now watching this video, you need to come to the true occult, shadow, dark understanding of where these things even come from rather than you worshiping what the creator created because that's just a means of communication. The Quran is a means of communication as a text. It's not something meant for you to, you know, worship. And like, you gotta understand, it's just a guide. Once you understand what the book is talking about, then you start to actually reuse the real guide, which is a geometric magnetic, magnetic field that is both electrical and magnetic, as far as has a positive and negative function. And when those things come together, it create a vibe of coherence, which is just a fusion that create a new body and things like that. And what I mean by that is, is basically just the knowledge of the stars, the knowledge of geometry. This is actually just the knowledge of the hidden realms. Because you're all participating in the hidden realms. Whether you like it or not. I don't give a damn how many times you pray, 10,000 times a day, 1,000 times a day. Nobody cares. What people care about, however, is the fruit that you're able to produce. Do you have a replicatable system, a duplicatable system, that actually can get me from point A to point B? Because chances are, if I'm going to motherfucking Mexico, if I'm going to motherfucking South America, I'm going to want a real good motherfucking guide. So, you know, I might not want to settle just with anything. I might want to settle with a... Not settle, because, you know, I never I, I never settle with things. And the, and the rest of them, is that a bad word? I don't know, but maybe you should settle sometimes. But, you know, uh, I, just, I just go pedal to the metal and, uh, you know, let's go forward quick. So, you know, there's even uh, cult books like Shams al Ma'arif. So... When you start to understand, man, what these things really mean, I mean, it's basically just them taking the travels, the geometry of the world, how the sun travels, how the moon travels, and basically creating a, a theology from it, a philosophy from it. Because that's what you experience, whether you like it or not. All things in this realm, in this reality, experience those things. So when the animals and people all get up at 1 o'clock, not 1 o'clock, 9 o'clock, or, or 6 o'clock in the morning, or 5 o'clock, when the sun's rising, uh, as far as if we're following natural law, you know, now we have like buildings, we have like blinders, and not that people didn't have that before, but it was more natural for people to wake up at those times because that was the clock that they used to get up and, th and, th and things like that. So you gotta understand when you're able to take those things and write them into text and make pictures uh, of them, not pictures necessarily, but you're able to replicate and duplicate what God has already done around you and give that to the world in the form of a text, in the form of a, a picture that you painted, in the form of, of a music, in the form of fashion. However you give God gift to the world, the, your good deed, uh, you know, it's going to come in a format. And you got to understand that the Quran is a book that's based on a format that you need to understand that is based on biology, that is based on science. That is based on scriptural truth. It's based. Muhammad is like as good as a poet as well. Like, because you got to understand that when you're really working for God, God will give you extra abilities. God will give you extra talents. You will have more just because you are following, uh, you know, the natural ways, the laws. You're understanding the science behind those things. You understand wet. You understand water. Water is wet. And that's a state of transformation. When you, let's say, uh, when summer comes over the ice and the ice turns to water, that creates wet from cold. Cold is also another polarity. Cold is like ice and things like that. We have also dry, dry like sand, dry when the air is dry and things like that. Oh, the air is humid. There's water in the air. So, and uh, what was it? Wet, dry, cold, hot. Hot is like, you know, fire. Hot is like a tree burning. Hot is like, uh, you know, a lot of different things. So you got to understand that there's a natural format to the world. There's a celestial order to things that affects all things. And it's all electromagnetic fields colliding, creating fusion and creating new bodies. Just like how your mom and dad came together, left and right. Your dad being the masculine nature and your f mother being the feminine nature. You got to understand that when those two people came together, it's also a third dimensional correspondence of how energy works. So when two things come together, a new energy is created. So you have the hydrogen collider in the Project CERN right now. And if you look at outside of Project CERN, you will also see the statue of Shiva. 
And so that's an indicator of, you know, what was she, the dance, the god, the goddess of death, or whatever. But point is, you gotta understand why would some company that's got has got a, a very funded, expensive project that if you better believe if people like these run resources and are able to run things behind closed doors and governments or are able to present themselves in the light and still woo you guys while you guys are really the ones in darkness as far as their perspective because of what they're able to manifest and like practice witchcraft on you then you need to understand that there's something that you're actually lacking and it's going to be up to you if you're going to really want to be a slave of Allah because that's going... Like I said, I explained to you what Allah is. Allah is all natural law. It's cosmology. It's numerology. It's gematria. It's astrology. It's astronomy. It's the laws of nature as and the different derivatives, different schools of thought and thoughts and feelings, schools of knowledge that we created to study those things and teach it to our descendants as a form of philosophy and philosophy, theosophy or whatever, to be able to you know practice a system on the people to beat people's minds into our systems ways of thinking because you know we're gonna demonize the things that you like and we're gonna angelize the things that we like behind closed doors we're we understand the positive and negative forces of demons and angels we understand how to harness these things and bring about that virtue and principle into reality so it's a thing that you have to get outside of the lostness whoever thought you that you know hadith or whatever form of resource, because whatever you pick out in Islam, you're just, it's a big philosophy that's based on the sun. So whenever we play out those attributes and characteristics in reality, because we it's, this shit is esoteric, it's not exoteric. Like Muhammad didn't fly nowhere; he flew mentally. This is why when you say "I'm up," "I'm feeling happy," uh, you're up, you're feeling happy. You flew somewhere in your mind. Oh, you're feeling down. These are feeling. We create these forces. We create these energies upon our spiritual bodies and things like that. And so this is why you need to understand that vocalizing as a group of people is powerful. But really, you're not supposed to even do it fucking, uh, excuse my language, because I'm very passionate, you know. Physically, you're supposed to do this mentally. When you're on the same frequency, when you're on the same vibration, as the folks that you are planning with, as far as you being in the 11th house, you being in an Aquarius, you being in that polarity, that makes it the total body of God. That's how you can create a council in this realm and reality for you even to have a religion, some form of science, some form of system for you to be able to even go convert people because you really playing out a version of you being God and, you, and you're just showing people what God really wants you to already know. And so that's what Muhammad was able to play out but if I go even deeper, the Muhammad that you all know is not even a real Muhammad. So you got to go deal with that as well. Because when you really look into it, Bukhari and all these hadiths, those 200 year, uh, you having the hadith of Bukhari after 200 years and things like that. Why not? Like How, how, how you even trust somebody that made admitted derivative material rather than the original material. I'm sure it's not bad, but I would rather listen to the classic than listen to the derivative of somebody else because I don't want it through someone else's filter. I want it straight from the horse's mouth. I don't want it from nobody else. So if anything, I'd rather just read the Quran and not have any other derivatives other than the Hadith. So the way you, the way people even go about practicing the religion itself is like. Stupid, it's like fucked up. You don't even know, you even understand that the five prayers that you do per day is based on the astronomical movements of the heavenly bodies that you are observing every single day. Salat al Subh, Salat al Fajr, Salat al Maghrib. How do you come to these conclusions without being understanding the concept of time and actually creating a derivative of that? Because those are the things that you do. And if I can become the face of what's going on in natural laws around you. And create governments and systems and ordinances, then that's how you literally become God on earth type of shit. And you can go deeper if you want to. If you really understand what you're doing, damn, you'll make a, a mean system. Because all this shit is witchcraft. All this, this shit is witchcraft, pretty much. And when you understand, 
witchcraft, you understand sorcery, you understand necromancy, you understand magic, you understand geomancy, you understand those things, you're able to actually start to see how everything around you is really actually built. It's with the thought and feeling first, down to this terra firma, earth, this transformative grid that we're on. It's all with thoughts and feelings. That's how this realm even started. You didn't have a body before. Your original body, your sons of God, your, your, your daughters of heaven, your thoughts and feelings. Same shit. Just fusion. They come together and they create a body. Now, hey, some people say he wasn't even born by accident. He was meant to be born at this time and all these things. And whatever challenging is you're facing right now in your life as far as frustrations that you're dealing with, you need to understand that that's a format, a form for you to take a look at what you're doing inside of yourself as far as what you're playing out in front of you. Whatever you're playing out in front of you, why do you keep doing it again and again if it's frustrating you? So there must be variables outside of you. You may believe it's trying to stop you and things like that, but you really got to start to observe the inner nature first because you don't have to react to it first like that in the first. You got to be neutral about it. Okay, the LGBTQ want to be do that? Okay, no problem. Okay, uh, you know. Because I'm going to keep it real with y'all. If you were really hard, I'm the hardest Muslims. I'm the hardest Creston. I'm, I'm the hardest Saracen. I'm the hardest Moor. I'm the hardest Indian. Or I'm, 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 I'm on my way there. So, you got to understand like where all these different philosophies came from. That's where all these different religions, ideas of God, thoughts of physics about God came from. That's all it is. Somebody else's idea or feeling about God that they're just communicating it to you, but when you get slick with it and you get and you get like you know, that's why traveling is really important, man. You travel, man. You're gonna see the world. You're gonna see different. You're gonna see different types of people, man. You're gonna see different types of energies, and you're gonna feel through all this different type of weather and the cyclical system that's uh, a wheels within wheels, like you know, tectonic plates and all that, man. It's really gonna push your mind, your thoughts and feelings for you to think about life and it's going to expand your mind because not everybody around you is going to act like a Muslim. Not everybody around you is going to act like a Christian. The world is way bigger than your mind. The world is way bigger than the culture, than the religion, than everything you've learned. Understand where those things come from so you can actually hang out with God. So you can actually say that you're actually a living example of the energy because that is a fucking G. God wants you to be up there like one of his trophies. Like yeah, that's one of my niggas, yo. Like real shit. Anytime God need to clap down, God should be able to call you. Bam, you're on the job, yo. But you know, yeah, we're just too busy hanging out, I guess. Too busy being entertained by loving hip hop, MTV, and you know, going to the mosque and praying to Allah five, not two, not three, five times a day. Only if you understood what a prayer was. Your life would change you right at this moment, right at this second. Because you would begin the process of overpowering all the demons which is which you've created or you've inherited from your bloodline or whatever, your cursed generational ass motherfucker. You know, they're going to be able to overpower that shit when you understand what a real fucking prayer is. Because you're literally going to be able to, you know, actually, man, weave and cleave motherfucker. And God, and, oh, and real shit the demons is gonna are gonna sit down and you're gonna be like an angel going, going forward you're gonna be a bad motherfucker real shit so understand the real traditions and don't get lost in the motherfucking derivatives aka okay, the Quran and the Bible and the Torah and the Talmud and the Mishnah are all just derivatives of what we're all experiencing and what we're all observing and we can all come into that into that knowledge in our own way real shit so don't judge nobody but I'm here to judge the world. Eh, maybe not. <laughs>